Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I was going to recreate this Kendall Jenner makeup look from Hugh Van Gogh. Let me know if I'm saying that wrong. I think it is. He's like this amazing art makeup artist. I follow him on Instagram. He like does Selena Gomez's makeup, Kendall Jenner's makeup, Taylor Hill's makeup. So he's a big celebrity artist makeup makeup artist and I know him mostly because of Selena Gomez. But he did this beautiful neutral makeup look on Kendall. Um it's just like you can see the makeup better in like this video. It's just like a neutral eye with um a winged eyeliner and like a nude lip. It's really pretty and I just really wanted to recreate it. So let's get started. So I know I'm a little pale right now and my lightest foundation shade is a little, it doesn't match so, but bear with me. Um, I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me in 220, my go-to foundation. So because this isn't exactly my neck color and when you compare it to my raw shoulder to my raw shoulder it's a little bit but by applying a thin layer and then bring it down my neck as much as I could I'm trying to make it work. So I'm with concealer I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me in 20 Sand Sable. Really need some new foundation and concealer. Applying that under my eyes up the bridge of my nose and a little in under where I contour. Set my foundation. I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me powder in 100 and just patting that under my eyes. And then my Maybelline Fit Me 220, just a large powder brush. I'm going to just lightly go over my face. So kind of lighten it up a little bit. So in the picture, she looks really bronzed out, um, fluffy brows, like a little bit natural. So I'm gonna start with that before I go into the eyes. So I'm taking my ColourPop Cosmetics Alexis Ren palette, take the bronzer, which is Golden Moment, and just slowly build that up under my cheekbones. And then blend it up as I go. with my ColourPop the knockout palette I'm gonna take the blush which is excuse my French looks like she has like a really I don't want to say nude but like nude coral peach like kind of on the apples of her cheek I'm gonna slowly build that up as well and blend that in with my bronzer and whatever's left over I'm gonna run over bridge of my nose for a little sun kiss look then for eyebrows i'm taking my benefit brow in the number five i'm still trying it out like i like it sometimes a lot and then i don't know so we'll see i like the color though Let's brush out my brows her brows are more rounded so i'm gonna do a little bit more rounded because it's more of a natural look than my harsh instagram brow Then with my Glossier Boy Brow, I'm going to set my brows and kind of feather them out. I will have my Glossier Rep link down below if you want to purchase anything from Glossier. And it's 20% off your first purchase if you shop through me. To start off my eyes, I'm going to go into my Kat Von D Shade and, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'm going to take... Just this bone color, I don't really know what it's called, and just set my eyes. My Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to take Golden Ochre and then mix in using my Morphe G17 brush that has a little bit of my bronzer on it. So it warms it up a little bit and I'm going to apply that into my crease. Just as a little bit of a transition shade. 
purse isn't really smoked out that much so I'm just gonna keep the transition shade as being my little smoked out so that most of the color is on my lid but it still gives a little bit of that cat eye effect then going in to raw sienna and my morphe g13 brush i'm going to pack that into the lid pack that on to the lid for eyeliner i'm taking my colourpop liquid a colourpop cream gel color in swerve and creating a winged liner. This is a little bit, doesn't go out as much, kind of stays in, it's a little thick, so I'm gonna to try to recreate that. And to smoke it out a little bit more, I'm gonna go back into that Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, and I'm going to take that black, matte black color and a flat brush. Just kind of slightly go over the edge of the liner. And for highlighter, I'm taking my Becca Champagne Pop. And I'm also going to apply that to my inner corner. For mascara, I'm taking my L'Oreal Voluminous Original. And she probably has false lashes, but I ran out of all mine, or else I would apply some. And for lips, I'm going to line my lips with my ColourPop I Love Sari Lippy Pencil in Curvy. And finish it off with my Glossier Generation G in Leo. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe down below. Also, follow me on my social media, which is at Makeup by Jewel, for updates on when I post new videos.